What's going on, Washington Commanders Nation? It's your guy, Rio, and we are back with a special to start the 2022 season off with some divisional rival smack talk. I got the, I got, it's a, it's a Holmes family reunion for NFC. Family <laughs> and I got some big dogs and some heavy hitter content creators coming on the channel. A friend of the show, Philly 500, representing the Eagles. How you doing, big dog? I am doing great. Thank you for having me on. It's great to see Mark Holmes. Wife kicked him out of the house again. He's sitting there in his little <laughs> Motel 6. I see. Oh, and first time on the channel representing the Giants, the hilarious, outspoken Mr. Kyle Pizzle. Welcome to the show, big dog. Rio, I want to thank you for allowing Pizzle to be a part of this roundtable discussion. My fellow African-American brother, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of this. You could have went many different directions as far as who you want to bring on Giants. You know, Giants fan wise, and even these two goofballs have went that wrong direction many different times. But you, <laughs> sir, you, sir, you came and got the real deal. You came and got the sixty-minute man himself. You, sir, came and got the best <laughs> of the damn best. And it's just, it's just, it's just is what it is. And so, there's no need to introduce Mark Holmes. Because I want to introduce. Can I introduce Mark Holmes? Go ahead, man. Can I, I do I that? Love, I love the WWE can I do that? style promo. No, it ain't it ain't WWE. It's just real as it gets over here. So, <laughs> anyways, I have a I have a I, as many people know, I have a son who's almost two years old, and and he's an outdoorsman, right? I'm a sixty My grandson. Man. He's an outdoorsman. So I'm taking him to the park. We're walking around, and I'm showing him things. I'm introducing him things to the world. I'm flowers, trees animals and then i say son look there's mark holmes there's mark holmes and he says my homes my homes and i said yeah that's mark holmes and what it was rio was a pile of dog shit that's exactly what it was because that's what mark holmes is is a pile of dog shit and so i just wanted you guys to all know what mark holmes is because I've been sitting here all off season watching his content, talking about Bobby Wagner going to come to the Cowboys. Bobby Wagner don't want anything to do with the Dallas fucking Cowboys, bro. He didn't want shit to do with them. He said he made 30,000 videos about Bobby Wagner. And then if that wasn't enough, you go to a, you go, you go to a card show. I'm Brian Cooper. Thank God he finally got out of Dallas. And he's going to Cleveland to rot away like OBJ did, and you're sitting there harassing him. Breaking news, Amari Cooper left. No, he didn't want to see your goofy ass, Mark Holmes. Why the hell would he want you to be signing anything for you? He don't want to be on the channel, Mark. Oh, man, Mark. Dog Mark. shit. I don't, <laughs> under I don't understand. You man, you sitting there breaking news. Mark, you kidding me, bro? You kidding me, Philly Five Hundred? What's up, my fellow, my fellow cigar smoking friend? What's up, I was man? sitting there the other night, <laughs> looking at the moon. I was smoking a cigar, Blondie Acid. Okay, I having a great time thinking about my friend Philly Five Hundred. And thought, you know, Philly Five Hundred's not that bad. He's not oh. like Mark. He's not. Oh. I'm sitting there. I'm looking at the moon, thinking about you double hey, moonwalking. Mark, hey, Mark, and I, Mark, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta come back with one after oh, this one. He'll have it. Hey, he's talking about me first. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. So I'm sitting. Let him have his fun. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking about double moonwalking, Philly. I'm thinking he's not so bad. And then I thought, yeah, he's a he's an idiot because he roots for the Philadelphia Eagles, so he can't be a smart individual, right? Right. So, anyways, it's great to see you, Rio. I have nothing but good things to say about you. I mean, you came and got the realest of the realest. So thank you, my friend. Go ahead, Mark. Go ahead and spew your dog shit. First, first place, Dallas Cowboys, Mark Holmes, Cowboy Joe Boo. Yeah. The man can cook. I'll give him yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Family run business. Huh? Mom and pop shop. Huh? That's what it is. It's a dump. That's what Dallas, that's what Jerry's world is. It's a place <laughs> where Giants and Eagles and sometimes the commanders show up to take a dump that's hey, what mark, they do mark hey, mark mark would you like to would you like to jump in from your motel six my guy ladies and gentlemen let's get ready to rumble <laughs> you know 
I just want to know one thing. You know, I, I'm taking all the shots and stuff from you, you know, Philly 500. It was actually comical because I was, uh, you know, I, I actually have a job, believe it or not. I know people don't <laughs> believe that I actually work, but I do. I, you know, I've got Congratulations, that I, I take care of. So I'm coming down the country here and I've got to work on them because people need nice places to live. You know, I, I know all of you guys know that because y'all all live in the dump. But, but be that as it may. I go on last night. I'm testing this thing out. I have not um, done anything with Philly 500 in a long time, and so I'm trying the streaming, streaming, and everything here, you know, together and see if it works and stuff. And I happen to see that Philly 500's live last night, so I go over on his channel there just to see if he's, you know, what, what's going on, seeing if it'll be able to adjust. And I'm having a little problem streaming this on my my site right now too. Uh, because it's just using up too much CPU. Mm. And I go and I see in the chat, I haven't been on anything in forever. I haven't talked about Philly 500 in forever. And here I see Every my day. name. What are you talking I, about? No, I see my name on three different comments by people. And you're like, Mark Holmes is Mark Holmes. And I'm like, I'm not even there. I am literally living rent free you, in your head. You realize I can't go through a live stream of yours without seeing my face on it. <laughs> like I can't go every live stream I'm on. It's just Mark Holmes. It's just there's home. there's Philly five hundred. What are you talking about? There's my son. There's my son. You, son, you're crazy. My three sons. And hey, listen, Mark, we're in 2022 now. We're in 2022 now. That son oh, shit hold is over. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what? I tell you what. How does it feel? I just want to know how does it feel for all three of you guys to be there knowing that not a single one of you mother humpers beat the Cowboys last year? <laughs> how does it feel? I, I, that's all you? I want to know. That's how does it feel to run know. a quarterback draw with 14 seconds left and no timeouts? That's what I want to know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, and how does it I feel? Want. How does it feel, Mark, to go to the playoffs and do fucking nothing? And yet, oh, still be owned by us. If we're yeah, asked, you guys are, if, you're if we're asked, it. but you didn't do anything with it. Well, I'm just saying. Well, hey, this point, and this you ain't done division, it. I mean, I'll, until I'll, someone I'll does take, something, this whole division is bad. This whole okay. division is shit. Y'all shit. Well, how, but but real. Hold on, hold on, the point hold on, is, if you kids, go to Mark Holmes' channel, hold on, hold on he here, hold on here, kids. Kids, I'm going, I'm going to teach you something here right now. Every year is your okay. year, Mark. Right. No, no, I want you guys to start having some pride in yourself, okay? <laughs> really? You do not go ahead and put yourself down because this stuff about the NFC East is the worst division for bullshit, okay? Bullshit. Because I tell you what, at least we had two teams in the playoffs. Because I'll say, take a look at that you know, NFC North up there. The only one that had a winning record – was Green Bay. You're talking about the Bears in there. You're talking about the, the Lions in there. And you're talking about Kurt freaking Cousins up in there with the Minnesota Vikings that did not have a winning season. So don't come to me and say, we're the worst division of football. Hell, take a look at the uh, NF the AFC South. Are you going to say that with the Jaguars and the Texans in there, that they're better division than we are? Honestly? No. 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 How about the NFC South last year? It was only Tampa Bay. So uh, I'm sick and tired of people saying, oh, well, your division's ass. Well, you know what? It's not like, you know, uh, everybody is like the AFC West right now. There's a lot of dog divisions. And I don't remember people saying that all those years that New England was winning the Super Bowl when they had the Jets, Miami, and Buffalo that were all below 500. Yeah, but they were oh, winning the Super Bowl. Yourself. Oh, yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah, they were actually. They were. They were. Mark, the only the reason why you had anything good is because my squad – and oh, Rio yeah. squad and Rio squad, we didn't have our shit together. Okay, we have been pissing down our own leg oh, for yeah. the last several years and just handing you wins after wins. Okay, and what have you what you, have you done you with play it? the teams that are? Running. What have you done? You've done absolutely diddly squad. I, I look forward to every year Jerry Jones's last press conference of the year. Talking about he I needs to get he needs to think though. about more ends of the pie. And if I get more ends of the pie, I can maybe have a winning year. No, you suck. You're gonna die a man without winning another Super Bowl. That's the reality. Uh, Mark, hey, Mark, Mark I need I need you to shave I, I need you to shave your head, Mark. 
it would be a better look. You know, you know, the, the, the shame know is, is look, I look, look man, black men, black men, we don't play with that bro no shit when it comes to bets, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm the only white Mark, boy here. Mark, Mark needs, to, it's a better look for him. I don't know, I'm the only like, white boy here. I like his little jersey, yeah. okay. girl, okay. man. Well, I'm the only white boy here. First of all, get back to me when you guys actually get a win. Okay, get back to me when you guys actually get a win. Where is Michael I, Anthony? Where's the fitness? Where's he at tonight? <laughs> and, and I'm sure he's on a hot date. Before we get going, in, hey, I hope I hope he is, man. I, shit, I can use one of those myself right now. But before we get going, before we get to all the shit about the offseason, the draft, and who's gonna win a division this year, I'm gonna let you guys start. Get your fucking name jokes off right now. I know there's a bunch of fucking commanders jokes out there. Oh, well, well, dude, the, I, I'm sorry, team. man. Go I don't go. even think you should. I don't even think you should be in the division anymore mm. with that name. I mean, that's a horrendous name. I mean, you're talking about to me the best division in sports. Uh, you you got historical franchises, and you changed your name. You ruined it, and then you come back with such a stupid name. I, I don't even think you should be in the NFC East anymore, to be honest. Don't, don't do that, Philly. Don't do that, that to us, Philly. I mean, it's it's not a great name, but it's not that bad. I think the sad part for me is I'm a, I'm very traditionalist, and you guys had an interesting name. Great name. Yep. Be what it be. What it be mm-hmm. And a really awesome, mm-hmm. honestly, a badass logo. Like Great logo. It was pretty yep. badass. I mean, it was a really cool I, logo. I have to agree with that. I, I mean, it really had right. character. It had it had style. It was interesting. It was just cool. It seemed honestly, it seemed tough too. Just tough. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know what the hell you got. <laughs> we, you we, could, we got us. A, we got us a W. What, I, what does that mean? Like I, I don't. You know, what is a giant? Giants. I mean, it just is what. Like we're just giants. giants? Well, are you talking about biblical sense? Because we could get in conspiracy theories. I can tell you about the six finger giants. Yeah. We're talking about the city. I don't I care. I'm ready to go with the ball. I'm ready to go. Like I look at it like this: most teams' don't names giant. and logos are ass in hindsight, and when you look at it, like I mean, Eagles is cool. I mean, it's very no, no, cool. no. no, no. I, level, the, the old, the old logo is cool. Every every Eagles level logo. of sports has a team called the Eagles. High school, middle school, pop Warner. There's an eagle. I, my high school was the Freedom High School. Yeah, Eagles. but but, we, but the, the eagle represent eagle represents the country. The country was founded in the city of Philadelphia, mm-hmm. so it makes sense. It's no, and honestly, the Eagles bird. have cool helmets, and it's a they bird. Do. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do. I like your helmet. Okay, Mark, yeah. go ahead and say what you got to say about the Commanders, man. I already know. You're going to come with the jokes, even though fucking cowboys. You know, I, there's no need to. I mean, you done clowned him your damn self. You, <laughs> you're you not even happy with that shit. You know, I, y'all go through a trust. Oh, but man, the colors, man, it's cool. It's awesome. I like the uniform. The reality is it sucks. Uh, come on. The, like the you, you can't honestly say you're happy with the Washington Commanders. Come on, man. I mean, that's a, it's, it was not my choice. I wanted us to be like the Wolves or some shit. Like, I thought that was a cool option. But ultimately, I'm not bonded to a name, you know? I'm not bonded to, like, the name of a team. Like, to me, I'm 30. I never watched this team win shit, so the name Redskins didn't mean dick to me, but it was my favorite football team. That's that's all it meant to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a traditionalist by any sense. I've never seen these bastards win 11 games. So as long as they could be called the Washington fucking winners at some point, I don't care. Yeah, that won't win. happen. Yeah, okay. We're going to win a division this year. We're going to get to that in a second. Okay. Though. Bizzle, talk to me about my commander. Yeah, wait a minute. I thought today I- was 421. Is it 420 again? No, nah, man, I'm not. I don't even smoke. That's not my, that's not my style. <laughs> it, it just. Uh, are it, you sure about that? I, I I just think the the thing too is I think actually Philly 500 and I could in a conspiracy way. Redskins. They talked about how, you know, oh, it's it's this, it's that, it's racist, it's all, you know, this that, and then you literally you literally name your team Commanders. And those those are the people that actually killed Redskins and things like that. So no, the no. weird thing is, is like, dude, like, what did you just achieve? Like, no, you no. you you can't you can't sit there. And, you you literally had one bad thing and took another bad thing. I actually think, like, call me crazy, but you know how like um, in the NBA there was like the Charlotte Bobcats for like a little bit. Mm-hmm. And they were and I, 
Well, yeah, and they went back. I actually think – I don't think you guys will go back to the Redskins, but I I do believe that there won't be enough rally around commanders that you guys will eventually adjust to a different name. I really I, 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 I don't think I don't think I, they're ever going to go through this. I'm going to agree with I'm going to agree with I don't think I don't think because at the, the end of the day, business. well, at the end of the day, <laughs> NFL is <laughs> NFL is a business. It is, and mm-hmm. and you have it's about making money. And, and look, I, I I say a lot of shit about the Cowboys, but Jerry Jones is obviously great at what he does when oh, it comes to his money. when his mom and pop shop. Yeah, but NFL you know, business. but it is a business, but. I, I just can't see fans rallying behind command. Well, that shit's been the hottest selling shit on Fanatic. Yeah, so but for know. for now because it's new. Because it's but new. I don't and think and it's gonna that division in the fall. It's gonna be. Oh even my more god! Popular. I don't. I just don't see it happening. It's, I really don't. Did I drop you on your head too many times when you? I just don't see stuff. it happening. That process of changing the name. I, I'm, gonna I'm gonna say. say I, I'm gonna say. Th- this is the thing too. It's like I wish you guys would have honestly. If you're going to go to something like that, I wish you would have just went like D.C. Commanders instead of right. doing Washington. Like at least have the D.C. part involved in it. Like the Washington thing still, I think, is there's some confusion to some people like Washington State, Washington, where like I would still I would have went D.C. something. I mean, what did Redskins or have to DMV. do with DMV? But it was well, a classic D, though. It's I, mean, a cla- I mean, mean, what have you not followed your history? Oh, I follow my history, but I live in the present, baby. I'm not worried about. I it. actually, I they be- actually named it Redskins in uh, to honor somebody that was a, a, yeah. a an Indian. Like they did it to honor hey, someone. It, I'm not one to talk about who should or shouldn't be offended. If it offended somebody, and it was time to go. Fuck it. I just want to see that's, this team win games, man. That's fine. And and at the end of the day, names are just names. But yeah. <laughs> it really, honestly, you guys, I, I. In my opinion, y'all shit your pants, and you're sitting there with a yeah. dirty ass diaper. Hey, <laughs> I mean, just I, 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 I honestly, actually, apart. I actually think that eventually they will go back to the Redskins. Fuck me. I think when when yeah. the when when society gets off and kind of goes back the other won't. way, it's not it so politically not. correct. They I think we'll bring it here back. to stay, man. I don't it's, think I don't nah. think that's gonna stop, man. They're gonna we're, bring it back one day. We're getting more really sensitive by the fucking day, Philly. <laughs> eventually, eventually we are, but eventually that kind of stuff tends to swing back the other direction. Like, like it, it, it tends to go back. It's going to swing back the other way so bad. And I think when people are less uh, sensitive about it, I think it comes back one day. That's just a prediction of mine. We'll see. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, we'll see. I don't think I don't think it's coming back because that, that woke culture in this fucking soft ass society we live in, they do not allow people to think for themselves. It's a group think type thing. I agree. Right. I agree. Let's, I just don't think that woke culture can survive the long term. Okay. But we'll see. Okay, I got a super for my man Citizen Barlow. Shout out to you for the four ninety nine. The name isn't even that bad. Y'all being drama queen. I, no, I don't bad. even. We, do, we I bad. honestly don't think the three of us give a shit. <laughs> I really don't because we don't have to root for that team. No, Rio no. asked us what we thought, and yeah. we gave our opinion. It's a diaper filled with shit. <laughs> Dude, I kind of, I kind of was the the I, no I names were kind of growing on me a little bit. No, no, that, that shit know, never grew on me. That football that kind of was no names was kind of growing on me a little bit. Not, not you know, I, I just gotten used to saying the Washington, you know, football team and stuff, and now I keep forgetting. It's like the Washington command. It's like it's y'all, cool. y'all, y'all are gonna get used to real soon. Washington Commanders division champion. So let's talk about uh, who, you know what? Who, hold, hold. Who Listen, was... you, you may have changed the name, <laughs> but the game is still the same. I'm telling you, Carson Wentz will be the new Jeff George for you. You know that the Washington football team, the Washington Commanders, the Washington Redskins, the Washington Shitheads are always going to destroy quarterbacks. Carson Wentz has got to be scared shitless right now. He's not, he's not scared shitless right now because we, we're going to get him a receiver here in the job. We're going to get to that in a second. Who improved the most in the division this offseason and who regressed the most this offseason? I'm going to start with – Cop, how y'all? How, who do you feel in the division improved the most, and who do you feel like took the biggest step back? Well, I think in fairness, I I, I think you'll be able to answer that after next weekend. You know, I think the mm-hmm. draft is going to be a big tell. You know, as far as some, you know, I don't know about Philly five hundred out here trading out of the first round. My man didn't see that coming. Um, but you know, I, I think if you just see what happens. 
uh, in the uh, after the draft. I think that would be a big telltale. Mm-hmm. I, I I think it's. I will say this. I know Mark's brought it up. I think it's interesting that Wentz is back in the division. I definitely think that's that's interesting. I mean, you guys seem to have a a pretty good squad and a lot of. There was a lot of hype behind Washington's team going into last season. Tell me about the, it. <laughs> the defense and, you know, that, that maybe that was the year. And now you, you know, who knows what Wentz is really anymore. You know, is can that defense get back? A, I think the Cowboys did a good know, thing by letting Cooper go. I actually think that was a good move. They got trash and, value for him, though. Well, yeah, but I still think it was a good move. It was time. Get trash value. Okay. It was time. It was time for him to go. And, I mean – I can't really knock the Eagles because, I mean, they surprised me last year in reality. So, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I think the draft will will, will determine that answer uh, in a week from now. Yeah, really? you, you won't really know what, what the draft does. All right. No, I mean, gonna, you're going to hope, but the, the thing about I mean, it, I mean, obviously, you guys got point, better. You guys got example, better when you got Michael Parsons. For, for example, you know, my man Philly talked about Justin Jefferson being ass. <laughs> yeah. Jalen yeah. 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 Yeah, we all know because you play it every Jefferson night on the, on re- repeat, repeat, repeat yeah. on them streams. Yeah. We everybody knows. <laughs> hey, when you fuck up that bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't, hey, don't yeah, yeah, that, was, that was a monumental world class fuck up. I see Michael Anthony in the back. There's He's Michael. Going. He just woke up from his nap. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> no. This son right here, he actually works. He, he actually does some work here. He's helping <laughs> uh-huh. me make some goddamn money. You freeloaders, on the other hand. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the back, looking fed up for your shit. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hey, actually, Philly, Philly, actually somebody I, need, says, I, I need to find out something here. Did you get, uh, Philly, did you get the trophy? The giant yeah. eagle. I oh, saw the trophy. Oh, okay. I, I never. I signed I did, it and oh, everything. He signed it. I did a, a video uh, reaction to open it. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. All yeah. right. Oh, and look. We, there's Michael. I did, I just saw him. And then hey, Rio, Michael. Rio, you, just, you he get just nothing. woke up. He just woke <laughs> up. Hey, hey, where's my? I hope he. I hope he's taking care of my belt. <laughs> you get. You get to come home for dinner. That's what you get. <laughs> you get to come home for dinner. I don't got season tickets this year, so I'll be at the Mark oh, Holmes Lord. resident going live every Sunday, eating his food, watching the Washington Commanders take over the division. Philly, yeah. how do you feel? Yeah, about I hate them Cowboys, but goddamn. So I, I, I'll, I'll be, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a non-biased truthful answer about this division where I see right Uh-oh. now. Now, Here Pizzle's absolutely 100% right. The draft has not happened. So yep. we can't. We, we don't know how it's going to turn out. But if I'm being honest, Dallas Cowboys have regressed the most this <laughs> offseason. That's the honest truth. It's hard huh? to disagree. I don't, I'm not, I'm yeah, not disagree. they've regressed the most. But I think the I, Giants I can't say to me, that you guys have done anything that anybody's really... I'm, I'm getting done. there. The Giants... Giants, I, I, I don't know. I, they, they got a lot of changing parts. I really don't know what to expect. We'll wait and see. Um, the Eagles have done absolutely nothing offensively to help Jalen Hurts. I think they've slightly gotten better on defense with Hassan Reddick. Um, but I think the team that's improved the most is the Washington with the you know the bad name. Yeah. I think the addition of Carson Wentz, is a major upgrade, despite what Mark Holmes says about Carson. Significant major upgrade. Carson, again, really. Carson is capable. When you have nowhere to go but up, of course. But Carson <laughs> is – Carson threw 27 touchdowns last year, seven interceptions. And he, he didn't even have he a has, year. And he he has really bad points. He has – you know, he does dumb things at dumb times. This is true. But there are times where he's good. And if, if Washington gets good Carson Wentz, they're, they're – they're going to. They're the best team in the division right now. Yes, right sir. Now. If, I, the I, defense, yes. if the defense holds up, if the defense oh, yeah, and those guys yeah. that come back if and they're they healthy, if they, they got a lot of guys they're coming back that need to be healthy. Yeah. Now, if I'm they, just being honest. You know, I'm being honest. I'm giving you a non-biased answer. That's where I think we're at right now. Yeah, I hear you. Jeez, rebut I wonder Mark. what Mark's going to say. Rebut it, Mark. I, I would actually say because because Carson Wentz. I'm sorry. You know, that dog can't hunt, okay? And there is the curse of the Washington football team when it comes to quarterbacks. Let's be clear here. 
you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick was surviving everybody. Has anybody seen or heard from Ryan Fitzpatrick? Is he like buried out in the field someplace? He couldn't make it through the first game with Washington. And word on the street is he hurt his hip at a water park um a, a couple weeks before the season and he re-aggravated it in week one. Only that type of shit happens here in Washington. I'm telling you, you Washington is like the Bermuda Triangle for quarterbacks. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, so if you've already got a guy who's got bad luck going to a bad luck team, it doesn't all of a sudden get, I guess, two negatives make a positive. Maybe that's going to be it. But we'll see. We'll see if that works out. I would say the Giants, sorry, you guys have just been screwed over, you know, bad picks for too long. You guys got years and stuff to go. Too many bad contracts. You got no cash. Now, look, we keep claiming that we have no money. You mother humpers don't really have any money. So, you know, we'll draft well. Piss, you're going to have to, which is something you guys haven't been able to do quite in quite a while. Yeah, the money thing is so – that's so overrated. That, that's, yeah, man, money that, is overrated. That's, that's the that's whole it. most that, – that's the most overrated okay. thing I listen to all the Absolutely. time. All you got no money. I, I hear you. Absolutely. I hear you. The okay. so overrated. Legend, man. That that's fine, overrated. Mark. I mean, as many videos uh, as you make, you got to come up with stupid shit like that. Like, <laughs> you know, the money thing. You guys got no money. Like, it's I'm just – it's overrated. Point. Just, I'm just pointing out because you know how many busts have you guys had how? over the last you know six seven years of stuff you know <laughs> seriously <laughs> I mean do Mark, I need to we haven't had like busts oh you are you gonna say yeah Eric Flowers is a bust is great? Daniel I'm I'm 100 on the I'm 100 percent <laughs> on board the Daniel Jones train 100 percent. Okay, one hundred percent. That train, that train dog, you can <laughs> that, that, train, hey, be a that dog, that, that, that dog will I hunt. Tell you, that, that, that dog ain't that no, train's an amateur. That train's breaking down, down break it down, and lay yeah, I'm down. Telling, if you if you put Listen. Washington on the schedule, seventeen games a week, Daniel Jones would be the best quarterback. Yeah. The and I don't know why I, I don't know why Philly five hundred's talking. Daniel Jones beat them with a broken freaking neck. Okay, that's fact. Well, like one time in like what? How many years? How many but years that's facts. He broke. He beat you guys with a broken neck. I mean, that's facts. Uh, so yeah, you know, we, we can thank Jalen Regular for that. The guy don't know how to catch wide open. But, what can I do? The worst. I mean, <sighs> shout out to David I, Wiley for the two dollars super chase at GI. Poor Pizzle, man. Giant <laughs> suck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have full confidence that we've finally got the right people in charge now. That can we can make something happen. I like okay. your coach. Yeah. I like, I like, I like, I like our like coach. The GM coach pairing from Buffalo. I, I think it's a good pairing. I think, but I think what Buffalo's been having going on the last couple of years is really good, and mm. so I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm buying into that. We'll see. I mean, it does. I think our season is going to determine on how well Daniel Jones plays. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, <clears throat> Thank you, Captain Obvious. I mean, pretty much. Well, yeah, but I mean, I mean uh, thanks, Mark Holmes, for making stupid content. Is he 100% but, the starter going into the season? Oh, yeah, 100%. Anybody that, that, that flirts with the idea that Tyrod Taylor is going to be the starter is, is – is, they're just – they're stupid. Okay. You think Tyrod this Taylor. Is his last year, though? Like you Daniel think Jones, I think it's his last, last, last opportunity. Draft. You've got yeah, one yeah. shot to make it happen. You got mm -hmm. a new coach, a whole new thing. Now we have to draft well. We have to protect him. We have to get the right offensive line. And I think we've got some good ones in free agency. We need to get a right tackle because let's face it, the division, Chase Young, Parsons, they've got some good, they got some dogs that can come after the quarterback, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, we got to protect him. And so, if he if we protect him and he still fucks up, then he's got to go. But I mean, uh, you know, it's not like we're, we've given him a shit contract like Dak, you know. So we've at least <laughs> the money mark. Oh, buddy, oh god, thirty seven TDs last year. And what and what happened? <laughs> what happened? And one and quarterback what, sneak. <laughs> what, quarterback and sneak. Right. And what'd you get with it, Mark? <laughs> Thirty-seven <laughs> touchdowns and one quarterback six sneak. Victories against you, motherfuckers. At least. Okay. But what yeah, happened yeah, when the lights were the brightest? One week longer than us. The same thing that happened to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. How about that? Hey, because Aaron Rodgers. He didn't do any better against that same 49er team. I think only one team in the division got worse this offseason, and it's the team that won the division last year. I you think so. Yeah, but Texas you got to say, game. we were up here. You mother humpers were all there. I mean, are are y'all really up there? Or did y'all did y'all we all really up there, Mark? We, I mean, Mark, we, we played the same so amount of games. Do I need, do I need to bring up the scores? 
Mark, we played hey, the same round and, as Kansas. Y'all went 12 and 5. We understand. And how many wins did you five. get there? How many? You how only many? played us one time, really. The last game, oh, we, we had a bench up. Y'all we got we sat oh, our guy. If we want to talk about not playing people, you know, son, when you played your son above you, son. when they were COVID-esque, okay? Yeah, that's right. Look up. Look up. COVID-esque. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. y- y- you were given a gift there too, son. You were given a gift. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, we we like gift. What was it? What was the gift? A better draft <laughs> pick, right? That was strategic, Mark. Oh, come on, son. I, 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 you got yeah, that he victory be, over Washington. He should be, th- he should be thanking like, me, right? I can't remember who the he should be thanking me. Washington. Thank me. Oh, thank you. Right? Are you thanking me? Thanking him? I had Pizzle with me, or this side. <laughs> yeah. You know, poor Pizzle. I had oh, Pizzle on my stream. He he was so devastated, I couldn't get him to come back and stream with me again. He didn't <laughs> want to do it. <laughs> Mark, I, I tell you what. No, 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 no. I actually have to say, and I haven't used it enough. I haven't used it like, you know, the Justin Jefferson clip. But the funniest thing that I think I ever in my life was part of was when the Eagles and the Giants were playing. And it was the missed field goal. Mm. Okay. The missed field goal that ended up being a flag. Okay. Because here, there, there's a backstory to this because – my man Stewart. Wasn't that against Washington? You mean? Yeah, it was. Wa- yeah, you guys play. I'm watching yeah, the live yeah. stream. Okay. Okay. My friend Stu said, "Hey, I got you in a football pool." Okay. okay. And so he gave me my numbers, and he said, um, "You know, he also gave me the numbers for um, Rasheed. You know, the stinking giant fan." And the way it worked out was, whoever got that field goal won. It was either going to be me or it was going to be Rasheed to win uh, two hundred dollars. And so we're watching that. And Washington, you guys missed a field goal. And I'm like, no, no, I just lost $200. Oh, fuck, I lost $200. And Pizzle's like, yeah, we got this. And all of a sudden, wait, there's a flag on the field. I was in the stadium losing my fucking mind. Pizzle just froze. (laughs) The reason why it was so funny, Mark, is because you were watching a real talented fucking streamer, okay? You weren't bored. You weren't watching one of these other geeks out here who were begging for a super chat. You're watching real authentic stuff. This is the reason why Rio has called me to this stream because he finally wants some real talent representing the New York Giants. So thanks a lot, Rio. I love it, man. I I love this energy right here. I love it. And so I'm happy that I made you laugh, Mark. Congratulations. Because after all the tears you have to watch. From time to time, that will pop back up, and it'll be great. Another really good one was when your your daughter, Rio, was uh, she was looking at the TV. (laughs) What, Rio? My my granddaughter. Look, oh, right. man. she was watching Mark call for me at the stadium. <laughs> like, Where's Rio? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bastard. But look, look Daddy's man. calling for you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all got worse this year, and y'all the only team okay. in the division that got worse. And we're coming for that ass, Mark. Y'all are. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing about all the three Cowboys. of us are coming for that ass, Mark. Yeah. We're gonna I, get out well, the what else? Show. What else are you gonna say? Well, I mean, I, I would would hope that you all would like to try and step up to it. But here's the reality of it: <laughs> if you were here last year at this time, okay, when the Dallas Cowboys, you know, they kept talking about the Cowboys, you know, they're not in the free agency, grabbing this guy, that guy, and the other guy. The year before, we went through and we got Gerald McCoy. We got Don Terry Poe. We went out and got Clinton Ha Ha Dix. Um, I'm trying to remember who else we ended up getting. We got the defensive tackle from uh, Minnesota. We went out and actually tried to get some players. Mm-hmm. Clinton Ha Ha Dix didn't even make it through training camp. Don, Don Terry Poe was just, just too fucking fat. Uh, Gerald <laughs> McCoy ended up tearing his ACL in training camp. And everybody basically, you know, we, we were the worst defensive football. We didn't go out and spend a whole bunch of money on, on the defense. We ended up getting lucky and getting Micah Parsons. We got a few no-name guys that ended up playing really, really good, like Jaron Curse. His numbers were comparable to uh, Buda Baker's last year. 101 tackles, uh, two interceptions. Played great for us for safety. And when we signed him, Kelvin was like, here we go, sign another nobody. But we got a few good pieces in on our defensive line. I'm actually feeling good about my defense, the fact that some of these guys are coming back and working with Dan Quinn. I am concerned about the offense because we, our offensive line is shit. And unless we fix the offensive line, it, you know, that's where everything's going to come from. If we don't get a real guard and we don't get somebody that's really going to back up Tyron Smith, 
we got problems. Hey, that I know what you're, what you're saying, forward. Mark, is the money thing is overrated. Mm-hmm. No, it, 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 here's the, well, it, it is because here's the reality of it. The money thing doesn't really exist because of the collective bargaining agreement. That money actually hasn't started kicking in. So, for example, Apple is taking over Sunday Ticket. So that's going from one billion dollars. So you're going to give us stock no, advice now? No, 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 no. no just listen. let me write it down, Mark. No, no. I you, I, son, son, <laughs> let, let me tell you how to become a rich man here. Okay. Okay. Understand this. Teach me. The, I need the, it. <laughs> the Sunday Ticket price went from basically one billion to two and a half billion. So, mm. excuse me, one and a half billion to two and a half billion. So that extra $1 billion, if you divide it by 32 teams and then multiply it by 0.48, that's an extra $15 million on the salary cap that starts in 2023, just from DirecTV. And understand that every single one of these television contracts between ESPN and Fox and all that, all of these things kicked in another billion to $2 billion. So the salary cap they're talking about by 2024 will be around $300 million. So that's why you see so many teams like, you know, the Rams going through and basically, you know, backloading all these contracts and kicking the can down the road and putting voidable years in here. The fact that the Rams got Bobby Wagner and his cap hit is only two and a half million dollars this year. It's not really an issue if you want to do that. Now, maybe Stephen Jones didn't get the memo on the new way. Yeah. You know, (laughs) no balls. uh, Jones here didn't get the memo about, you know, this money is coming. So, you know, go ahead and just, you know, don't, don't worry. It's coming. He's just not going to spend it. And I don't understand why, but yeah, that's boys, just boys, boys. is this because you didn't get Bobby Wagner? And it's not just Bobby. Wagner. <laughs> there, there's a lot of pieces out there. The various, hey, uh, Jason various, Wimpo, uh, I would like to tell you that nobody repeats in this fucking division. So man. they will not be repeating. It hasn't happened since the chunky soup Donovan McNabb days of 2004. And it is not going to happen this year because Dallas is taking a step back. And I'm tired of Dallas fans making fucking excuses of why they don't do anything. Mark is on his stream blaming the fucking sunlight, blaming referees. Like, referees. I ain't never blamed the sun. The, I, thing that kills me, the thing that kills me about Mark is <laughs> actually Jerry that, that, and his son, you, son and his son. You. Listen, whatever, <laughs> geek. Listen, Jerry and his son, Stephen, they've actually done like the last couple of years a great job running the fran- their, that franchise. Like they've actually done a great job where they've actually made the right draft pick. CD Lamb, right? Uh, Micah Parsons. Like, if you think about it, Dak is a really nice draft pick where he was drafted. It's Mm -hmm. not like you had to get him in the first round. You got him where you got him. I mean, like, you guys have actually done a really nice job drafting. And here you are. But here's where – that's what I'm saying, Mark, is you're wanting to go down the road that Washington went down many years and the old road that Jerry used to go down. And here you are bitching about it. He's they've actually done you a favor, Mark, and made you look smart when the reality is you're not. Okay. And so the thing about it is, is you need to thank Jerry Jones for even keeping you alive, like even keeping you competitive, even giving you the ability to be who you are today. (laughs) <laughs> like so, that's just the reality so like you're sitting here mad at you're mad at jerry because he wouldn't go get bobby wagner or he wouldn't spend money you should thank him because he went out and got a guy like micah parsons instead of spending that stupid money he needs to save that money for micah he needs to save oh, that he, money he's for got Diggs. several years for that one okay he's got a yeah but oh let me tell you what micah parsons if he plays to that level again, I guarantee you, Mark, he's going to yeah. say, you owe me right yeah. now. But I guarantee he's that type of guy. Three years. Can't get it. To no, all. Mark. Mark. Michael Parsons is the type of guy will set his ass out. I promise you. Again. You, if he has again. another defensive to potential player of the year season, he will say, Jerry, show me the money. And the way the NFL rules are, you can't redo a rookie contract till after the third year. This I'm just is telling you, Debo Samuels. Is. Yeah, that third after third year, he's about to get raped. 
Oh, he's so, gonna get ready. so you got to extend oh, CD Land next year. But though. that's what I'm saying, Marcus. You don't even listen, I can't even believe I'm giving you Cowboys advice. Uh, you you can't be spending <laughs> stupid ass money right now on Bobby Wagner, dude. Like you need to oh, be oh, saving oh, it. Oh, 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 man, I, 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 that would have been I, like that. I, I would not have been on. a fan. Bobby of is twenty is a million years old now. Like and it's a young man's man. game. Hold, hold he's hold, still hold, filthy though. Hold on here. Hold on. Yeah. It's, it's a, a young man. Store. It's a young it's man's game. Actually, Parker's look at the number. Hold on, L- hold on for a second here. If you look at the numbers, his cap hit for this year is two and a half million dollars. Next year, it's twelve million, which is quite a bit. But if worse came to worse, you could release him. The Rams can release him next year with only a seven million dollar cap hit. To me, that's only nine and a half million dollars risk to put him in there on that defense for one year. At worst. At worst, it's fourteen and a half million dollars for two years. I'm I just, sorry. I just can't I, that believe, be, Mark, that, that, that they've been, been that the Cowboys have now, been running talking, their. If you're talking about Von Miller at fourteen, fifteen million dollars a year, you know that one. I would oh, say. Oh, Mark, I'm so uh, mad about Von Miller, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. Great. We're talking about fifty-six million guarantee for Von Miller. I'm sorry, that was too much. For, I mean, I what I'm saying though, Mark, is I'm giving you, I'm giving Jerry and his son prices. Uh, that okay. mom and pop shop, I'm giving them prices because they have literally, they have brought the Cowboys a little bit back, a little bit back. He's like, like a fan. I can't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, Goose Man. Oh, I, oh, I see oh, a girl oh. over there, and you should be thankful that I don't show up and give her sixty minutes because you won't have her <laughs> in your profile pic anymore. Oh, Geek, back Lord. the fuck up, okay? Listen, hey. Mark. All I'm saying is, oh, is you wow. need to make a video tonight thanking Jerry Jones. Not talking about a mom and pop shop. I love whoa, how. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I whoever love this, how. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoever this game the, person in the chat is. Please get the fuck off the stream because that's the worst fucking take I've ever seen in my life. Joe Gibbs was really a trash coach and doesn't deserve <laughs> to be in any. I know you wanted my attention. Ooh. Well, you got it because that's one of the worst fucking takes. You don't have a picture on your YouTube Ooh. page. You shouldn't have a picture and you shouldn't be on this fucking app. You fuck out of here. <laughs> that's a Cowboys fan, definitely. Wow. Mark, get your people, man. That's not my people. I don't know they got to be. Your, that's a Cowboys be. thing to say, man. No, Mark, I, do you even know who your I people would, are, Mark? I wouldn't even say something like that about Joe Gibbs. Okay, I wouldn't. Joe Gibbs, Joe Jackson, Gibbs. you know what? No, Joe Gibbs. No capacity. See, here's here lies the problem for the Cowboys. See, in the same way Tom Landry was an innovator and came up with new shit, the same way when Joe Gibbs got to Washington and, and wanted to be like Air Coriel, but didn't have the horses. He had a slow, you know, bruising running back in Joe uh, uh, John Riggins. And he realized he had a running offensive line and he came up with the uh, the uh, H-back. He decided we're going to do something different. Cowboys don't innovate shit. We're still trying to replicate the shit from the 90s, and that's half the problem. And I, I was, three that, well, actually, no. Actually, the real problem starts from Jerry Jones and on to <laughs> Cat Boy, Stephen Jones, with his mentality of uh, literally saying that oh Dorrance God. Armstrong and Randy Gregory. You know, Dorrance Armstrong's right there with Randy Gregory. It's like, you're on crack. Isn't Jerry Jones? You, you were gonna pay. Babies? You were gonna pay Randy Gregory fifteen million dollars, fourteen and a half million dollars, and you're paying Doris Armstrong three million, and you're saying that they're the same guy. You're a crack. I'm sorry. So you're do you still think idiot. Michael Parsons is Lawrence Taylor? And cop, how did you feel about Mark? Oh, uh, he's a fucking. He's an idiot. I mean, that's uh, that's all. That, like, that's all Mark, like, like Mark, seriously, this is what pisses me off about. Taylor. This is what I. This is what Lawrence like Taylor Lawrence Taylor. Taylor like here's the thing. Like I, I understand I'm a Giants fan, and I get it that like yeah, oh biased, yeah. he's gonna be biased. But I'm old enough to remember that I saw Lawrence, Lawrence Taylor is one of the reasons why I became a Giants fan. I loved Lawrence Taylor. I mean, at, growing up, people there was there was kids that they loved Michael Jordan, they loved Ken Griffey Jr. Mm-hmm. I loved Lawrence Taylor. That was my guy. Okay, if I'm going into a dark alley, I want to go in with uh, with um, Booker yeah, Sugar and Lawrence Taylor. Okay, absolutely. so. I, that was my dog. He was, he would like, they, and I, I can't stand it when people say like Saquon Barkley's generational talent. Like I oh, hate that. Hurt. I don't like that. I don't like the term generational talent because Lawrence Taylor was a legitimate generational yeah, talent. Cool. Shohei Otani in baseball, generational talent. Okay. We're that, that's what real talent is. This other mm-hmm. stuff is just nonsense, but Lawrence Taylor literally changed the game. 
He you know, literally changed the game. Micah Parsons ain't out here changing the damn game, Mark. He know, ain't doing it. I mean, well, he, well, he ain't well, changing well, the game. He's a great player. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on. Let, he's a, let me at least defend myself on this. No, you Mark, even claimed he was Reggie White. <laughs> no, I, no, Come on. Here. You even said he was he one, was one year, by the way. One year. year. One year. I compare. I didn't say their longevity of the career. I said what they were doing their rookie no, year. You're saying, no, 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 no. He's no. he's no. Alex Taylor no. and Reggie no. White no. combined. <laughs> hey, all you oh yeah, take off your yeah. Let's take off some clothes, Mark. Yeah. You see how slow Mark got up? Mark is deep. He said how long it took him to get up. <laughs> Generation, like Mark. Okay, no, no, that, oh, no. And I know why you're saying that. You're saying it because it, the Giants are down, and it's like, oh, we get to say, we get to have this like another thing over the Giants, where it's like, oh, our our linebackers better than yours. Like, Mark, stop. Okay, I didn't even get into that last year because the Giants weren't oh, good I enough for me to even. Say, I didn't even get a chance to get into it, but I heard I that like shit. And, of course, all the other content creators ate it up because it's more microwave garbage content for them to suck down. And I'm sitting here I'm sitting here like, no, like, this is stupid. Why would Mark say this? Like, why would you not just want him to be his own man, Mark, Micah Mark Parsons? Is Mark was trolling. Content is king. No, I, listen. Content is king. I, the content's content king. Is king. I guarantee you Michael Anthony was in the back. Stop it, Daddy. Stop it, Daddy. Don't say that, Daddy. No, no. <laughs> He could not have been oh, agreeing man. with that. I know Michael's a smarter man than that, and he could not have agreed with you that <laughs> Michael Parsons was on the level of Lawrence Taylor. Okay, I, I, whatever you have to say. But going by the rookie numbers, and that's all I did but go through, was the rookie numbers. And I did not say that he's going to be a Hall of Famer because he could end up being like Chase Young was this year. Chase Young. Exactly. There. And, and I said – Taking their rookie record, okay? Lawrence Taylor had, I believe, 10 sacks. I think Reggie White had 12 his rookie year. And so putting that together, I would say, looking what these guys are doing. This is a comparable of type of players that you saw come out the box. That's not to say that he's going to end up being like them. Okay, that's fine, Mark. And you're old enough. You're old enough to understand this. And this is what bothers me. Would you oh. say that Micah Parsons single-handedly won games last year for the Cowboys? Because I would not say that. You would not say that? I, I, I watched Lawrence Taylor single-handedly win games Sing by himself. You saw the Thanksgiving game against the Detroit Lions. Absolutely did. By himself. That defense turnaround going into that year. Okay, honestly, looking at my defense last year. What players on there would any of you guys wanted on my defense going into last year? Besides maybe Dar- Demarcus Lawrence. D-Law, that's about it. I'm not even it's, saying no, he's, no, hold, I, hold on, hold on, no. Wait, Look what's at that question? defense. I said going into last year before the season, who on the Dallas Cowboys defense did y'all Oh, you mean like before defense? the draft? Because I wanted Parsons, so I'm guessing you no, meant no, 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 He's saying no, previous no. before Parsons before draft, was on the score. Yeah, Parsons. just um, – um, Looking at the D-Law. Dallas Cowboys defense. D-Law, who maybe Gregory. say, man, I'd like to have that guy on my team. Maybe like D-Law. Me. And my man Jalen said Michael Parsons single handedly won the long first long. game against Washington in the first half. Facts. He tore he, he tore Taylor ass. Heineke ass up. He definitely won that game in the first half. Wait a minute, which game? Oh, okay. Washington. In the first in, the, game in the first. Okay. He tore us the fuck up. <laughs> Whatever. I, I'll, tell I'll tell you the problem. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the problem with the whole thing. The whole argument. The whole argument is the problem is is that you come from it's total totally two different eras of football. Yep. You have yeah. Lawrence Taylor. Which Mark is old enough to understand old that. I mean, He's yeah. old enough to understand that. I Those guys drop back nowadays, what, 30, yeah. 40 times? Content is king, though. I agree. But what you I'm know? talking about is, though, the impact that that guy had coming out which is the reason why he's the only unanimous defensive rookie player of the year ever. He was that far ahead of every other rookie that came out of there. This was a guy who was, was also there with MVP defensive player. Not just rookie. This guy was – oh, 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 don't, don't even try, Philly. Don't, uh, yeah, don't, MVP? Don't, don't you know, the crazy thing is, but yeah. I don't think anybody here is saying that Michael Parsons sucks. I think he's oh, a great, he's great player. 
I think he's a great player. I would, I actually think either you or Rio said it like, okay, come back and do it again because now offense, because obviously, you know, Chase Young was hurt, but once, Uh, once offenses hurt himself. Yeah, Jason wants to get the first. But I don't care. I don't care. Once offensive start to game plan around Parsons, which you know, what at what adjustments is he going to make? Because they did that to Lawrence Taylor, and the, and he and they and they still couldn't stop him. And that will be the longevity of his career. Yes, we'll look at that and see. In and Micah's in Micah's defense, like he was phenomenal at two positions for you. Like he was an uh, edge yeah. rusher and an off ball backer, and you we've really not. <laughs> Really seen many times where a rookie Philly, can go to Philly. two different places and do 13 sacks. 13 I'm sacks. Not, I'm not laughing and, at that. I'm laughing, at your, I'm laughing at your delusional cowboy fans in the chat. Anthony Brown's better than Sean Taylor. Anthony Brown I, I, can't I, cover me. I will burn Anthony I, Brown. And I y'all love cowboy fans. Always me. think everybody's yeah. the best because they play for Dallas. Yeah. You're talking about wins. Yeah. Wins is 16 and 9 in the NFC East in case motherfuckers forget. And what's funny, too, is they actually think Diggs is really good. They think <laughs> Diggs is like Deion Sanders or something. And the reality <laughs> is, the, Diggs is Diggs is getting opportunities because Michael Parsons is destroying the offensive yeah. line. And, and it's, and and it's a joke. And guess what? That's a game changer. Dude, no, I understand that. Like, dude, like dude, Mark, dude, I get, I that get that he's a great player. I understand that. But what I'm saying is, you're talking about the elite of the elite when you start talking about Lawrence Taylor. You're talking about you're talking potentially about, the best. Like, I'm here's the thing: about every the impact that he had as a rookie. Everybody on the says NFL in the same way, Micah Parsons. I, had this okay, I that's fine. This. But listen, hold on, hold on, Philly. I, this is my guy. The, you, people say that Tom Brady's the goat, right? I think that that conversation is only for court. He's the only he's goat for only one position, which is the quarterback position, because when it comes to being an all around football player, Lawrence Taylor is the greatest football player to ever play this game. That's 100 percent. And he he hurt himself off the field. But between the lines, nobody's better than Lawrence Taylor. Billy, Billy, what is I'm, not, I'm not going to dispute that one. Because somebody oh, oh, it's my, it's my really... song for Pizzle. Yeah, it's my in, in season. Let, let, let's hear Pizzle. it because dude is actually. Where's the swamp rat? Where's the swamp rat? Where's the swamp rat? Oh, you no. and Pizzle double boom walk because the Giants. Always oh, stink. Thank you very much. You know, I mean, Thank the Giants you. actually oh, do play in a swamp, so I mean, it, I guess do. it goes. That, yeah. That's true. So they do. Do. Life, I mean, Meadowlands is a swamp. So I can't say shit. Now I got to say this about Lawrence Taylor, though. There is not one player that I was fear, feared more than Lawrence Taylor. Like I was scared when Jaworski was going to have to play him or Randall Cunningham, <laughs> especially Jaworski. Okay, but. Lawrence Taylor is the best defensive player that I think probably ever played. Now, I mean, Reggie White is my guy, so I always think Reggie's the greatest pass rusher that ever played. But uh, Lawrence Taylor put fear into he people. Did. And uh, it, Parsons has not done that yet. See, I, that, that's the thing. I think Parsons is great, but I would, I would question if he puts fear into teams. Derek Thomas would be we'll another one. That we'll, fear fear we'll see going forward because, again, sure. we're talking about a guy who uh, he ended up having to split time between being defensive end and linebacker coming out as a rookie. It wasn't like, I'm just going to do one position. He excelled in both. Can, can I help you? I don't know that you've ever seen anybody as a rookie come out and do anything like that. But this is what this is, the, this is the thing, Mark, is you and your content is king you know, toilet paper nonsense. Uh, here's the thing. You could have easily said, and let me make a point for you. Go you ahead. could have came out and said, instead of instead of bringing Lawrence Taylor into all this, right? Or instead of doing that, you could have just said, Michael Parsons currently right now is the best player in the NFC East. And nobody would have said it. Th- I would have said, you know what? Maybe Mark's right. Maybe he's the best player in the NFC East. And you could have rubbed it in Rio's face. You could have rubbed it in Philly's face. You could have rubbed it in my face. And and all of us would have said, whatever. But instead, you got to go and say something just stupid, just dumb. That I didn't get, I didn't, 
that that, that deserves. I mean, you deserve a pillow over your face. Well, I mean, well, it really me doesn't make sense. Let me ask this: How much money does Skip Bayless make? Because that fool says something he does, stupid every millions. day. Millions, well, absolutely, way too much. absolutely. Way too much. But that doesn't mean you should duplicate it. It's if he jumps off a bridge, you're going to jump off the bridge with him. I wish you would, Mark. I wish you would. <laughs> you know what? I love because it's drawing you guys out, man. It's hey, crazy. Pizzle, pizzle, pizzle. You know, um, it's creating my, guy, my guy just asked. He wants you to rate the NFC East quarterback. I'm going to have you rate oh, three and four because we know one and we went on one and two is Dak and Wentz. Who's better between Hertz and Jones? Hertz. Well, I actually think Dak's number one. Yep. Of course. I'll give I'll give home I'll give Holmes that. And I I I I say he's number one because he's He's, he's proven it. Like he's I, the most, okay. I think this is just my opinion. Don't say. That. I think the Eagles made a mistake in letting Wentz go. I still think that that's still a mistake. I I think they they mismanaged that whole deal with him and Foles. I still think they're paying for it today. Philly, they're still paying for it. Start crying. I I think I, I, just, you know I, I think Jalen Hurts, in my opinion, is number four in this division. Me too. I, I think he's number four. I do. I, I think, think Daniel Jones think, is number four. I don't think Daniel Jones is number four. I think if I Daniel think Jones gets in the right situation, he can easily be number two. And I think I, he's, I, I think he's it. number two now. But I've got I think, it. I've got but it's hard. It. It's hard for me to make a case because, I mean, look, Daniel Jones was the best player on the field for the Giants. I mean, no one the wants. To, is, nobody uh, wants to admit that. Daniel Jones but, never. I mean, I mean, Jaylen and I know, I know, we were a bad. I know I'm saying he's a good player. He's a great mm-hmm. player on a bad team. I know that looks bad, but when the when Daniel Jones went away or got hurt after the Eagle That'd game, worse. two games, two years in a row, I've watched the Giants absolutely pew, hit hit rock bottom, and it's because Daniel Jones came out of the offense. Now, absolutely, it's a prove it year for him, and I think he deserves one more chance. But I don't think Jalen Hurts is going to win a Super Bowl. I don't think there's any chance in the, in, in hell. Really, is Hurts any good as a quarterback to you? Because I don't see it as a quarterback. Well, I mean, I mean, what what do you mean in terms of passing? As a passer, like I don't I see it. He has he has a listen. I'm the first to tell you he he's got a long way to go mm-hmm. in the passing game. However, the thing there are so many things I like about the kid. I like his intangibles. I think he's a good leader. I think he works hard. I think he's thick skinned, uh, much thicker skinned. Then Carson Wentz. I think he he he's gonna go out there, he's gonna work hard, and he's gonna try to be the best he can be. I do think that he's unproven as a passer. I don't know what he is, but I do know this that the players played for him. They they won games that you know obviously they should have won, but they won games, they got to the playoffs. Daniel Jones has been three years, he's never sniffed the playoffs. He has so, sniffed the playoffs. The, no, he he has his with and five it's because, wins. And it's because your your sorry team yeah, decided sure. to tank. We they did tanked. you a favor. Oh, we did you no, a you favor. didn't do us a favor. Yes, we did you a favor. No, we did because because then your coach would still be there probably. Washington Very Washington good. played a really good game against Tampa in the play, playoff game, did, and I think did. the Giants could have done the same. They could have done the same thing. I don't you, know. you so we ha- he has sniffed the playoffs. I don't care. He has. Jalen Hurts, like, and and by the way, you're saying that Wentz is mentally weak. Y'all built a statue for a backup quarterback. What what I'm saying to you is, of is course, Wentz, why wouldn't he be? No, I'm not. I'm not saying all four of us. I, all four of us would have. No, all four of us no. would have. I would have felt some it kind is, of way about that. Listen, really? listen I, 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 I've been. I, I've been the first guy to argue that the Eagles did not do right. The by man Clark. destroyed his I, knee I, getting into the I end zone it. for the Philadelphia Eagles, I and the thanks it. he gets is a statue I of Nick it. Foles. <laughs> and you're going to call that man mentally weak? Me- mentally they destroyed weak. his yeah. knee for you. Yeah, I think he's mentally weak. I do. <laughs> I, I he destroyed his weak. knee for you. Let, let me tell you, when 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 push came to shove, and he needed to come back the following season. And win the job, win the respected players, beat Jalen Hurts out. He didn't want to. He didn't want to battle. He asked to be traded. So I have well, because he's got Philadelphia that. Eagle fans booing him. Well, then get over it. Be yeah, for real. real. They <laughs> boo me I every would, day. I don't care. I would feel a way if Jalen Hurts yeah. was starting over me because I don't think Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback. I think he's mm-hmm. shown one year as then a come back. But then Philly, come back. And I don't care job. what. I don't care what you say. The man blew his knee out. They built a statue for Nick Foles, and then they drafted Jalen Hurts. You're telling me 
the sad thing is, is they're doing the same thing to Hertz, though. And they're doing the exact same they're thing, doing to, exact Hertz. Same of thing to him because, of course, well, I, I, I've, I've, said this, I've said this. I've said this for years. I've said this for Cooper, but that's that's false. Listen, I agree with you. I agree that, and I've said this. I don't think the Eagles did right. By Carson Wentz, I don't think they did. I don't think they handled the situation what good at all. But when when he needed when he needed to plant his foot in that franchise and say, "I'm the guy, and I am going to fight for this job next year. I'm going to go out and beat Jalen Hurts." He Why didn't should want he? Any part of it? Why should he fight for y'all? Because because that would have showed respect. To the rest, you of the didn't team. respect I him. I mean, y'all gave him the keys and then Listen, drafted a running back uh, to play quarterback. I, I understand. Around. I understand exactly what you're saying. But even yeah. through all that, he had a chance. He had a chance to cement himself, and he didn't. He ran. He put his <laughs> tail between his legs, and he ran. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. Now, I don't think they should have drafted Jalen Hurts. Okay, I I said that was a dumb pick, and I oh, still say it was. Okay, I don't agree with it, and I don't. I think they're doing the same thing with Jalen Hurts. They're mm-hmm. telling, telling people, "Hey, Jalen Hurts is the guy. Jalen Hurts is the guy." Yet they've done literally nothing on offense to help him. What y'all so, have done though? I, y'all put yourself in position to get C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young next year. That's what they, y'all. Of course they did. Of course they yeah. did. And watch <laughs> out for Matt Corral because they might like him. Yeah, I'm I telling heard. you, they might like him. But right, but I it. agree I agree they've handled the Carson situation horrible, but that said, I still think Carson should have should have come back and beat out Jalen Hurts and won the job. I think it would have gone a long that. way. I respect that. They say he was the Eagles' version of Ben Simmons. That makes sense, even though Ben Simmons can't fucking shoot a basketball to save his life. But the draft next week, we're seven days away from the draft. Mm -hmm. We're picking at 11. The Eagles are picking at, I believe, 15 and 19. The Mm -hmm. Giants, y'all have two top 10 picks, number five and seven. And the the Cowboys are picking number 24. What are y'all thinking for your teams, and what like what do you guys want to see you guys do with it? Y'all are in the top ten with two picks, cop. You can start us off on this. One. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Okay, so last year I streamed the draft. I really wanted Devontae Smith, and I had a viral moment. Okay, a million views <laughs> on Twitter thanks to uh, um, Rock. And I well, Darius Slay also oh, retweeted Slay, it. Yeah, I, yeah. I am not. I learned my lesson. I'm not streaming this draft this year because oh. I don't want to go viral. Okay, Pizzle, oh. Pizzle. As a city minute man, I like to I like to fly low. Okay, and so here's the deal. I I, I the Giants have to get a tackle. I don't care who it is. Uh, I think it's going to be Cross from Mississippi State, but I honestly, sincerely don't care. I just want somebody to come in. And be uh, and be an anchor with Andrew Thomas. Protect Daniel Jones, whoever's quarterback, but protect Daniel. Let him succeed. If the Giants get uh, Sauce Gardner, cornerback from Cincinnati, I will lose my mind. I'll tell you right that night. <laughs> that night, I'll say the Giants go to the Super Bowl because I one thousand percent want him so damn bad. Because here's the reality: the, these giant content creators, they don't have a clue that we don't we don't have a number one cornerback. We don't. And you're looking at a division that's got C.D. Lamb in it. You're looking at a division that's got Devontae Smith in it. And you got a division. You're looking at a division that's got Scary Terry in it. Okay. Sure. And the reality is, is <laughs> if you think a Dory Jackson is going to be your number one receiver, I'd rather jump off a fucking bridge right now. Okay. Because that would be awful. We're going to trade James Bradbury after the draft. That's going to happen. We need to relieve some money there, Mark. And so that's what we're going to do. And if we get Sauce Gardner, who absolutely shut uh, opposing receivers down in college, one of the main reasons why you saw Cincinnati's collegiate uh, team uh, rise up to the occasion and become a, a, a powerhouse all of a sudden is because of players like Sauce Gardner. If we get him, he's going to be he's going to be amazing. <laughs> he's going to be I desperately want Sauce Gardner on this team. Mark Holmes, if you think Michael Parsons was a really good defensive player, wait till you see this kid play in Giants Blue. Can't fucking wait. Five or seven. Don't give a damn. Bring it on. I'm the I'm all a part of the I'm all aboard the sauce train. Would love to see it happen. Right, so so I want to cross and sauce. Okay. Cross and sauce. For I want game. cross and sauce, sauce and cross. Don't give a damn. Give me an edge rusher in the second mm-hmm. round. I'm good to go. I like it. I like it. David Wiley, $2 super, man. He said, Mark, why don't you have your sons have on their shirts? We repping our squads. That's why. Yeah. 
Yo, Fuck it's Mark. 2022. We wore the shirts already, man. Yeah, we you wore the I'm stupid ass you. shirt. <laughs> I will say this. You know I'm still your daddy. I will give Mark credit. The shirt, at least the one I got, was funny. It's hilarious. It's great. It's, hilarious. it's a it's funny shirt. <laughs> it's good quality. I'll, I'll it give it that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Philly, 15 and 19. Y'all made the trade with the same. What are y'all doing? 15 and 18. What are y'all so, doing in the I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you what my dream scenario is. Now, this is my dream scenario, and, and I'm gonna throw it out there. But I expect the Giants to take an offensive lineman at five. And then I think at seven, they're going to be sitting there waiting for Sauce Gardner. Well, as as the Carolina Panthers are at six, the Eagles are going to come back up and jump the Giants and take no. Sauce Gardner. Oh, that is <laughs> no. And the meltdowns no. will go. That's what I want to happen. Oh, man, but I don't hilarious. I don't know that it I don't know that it will. I, I think the Eagles, <laughs> I think they're gonna, I think in all seriousness, I do think they're gonna trade up with 15 and I think they're going to trade back with 18. So I think I think maybe you know they're at 15 they go up a couple spots. I'm expecting a defensive tackle. I think they're going to go focus on that defensive line. So I'm expecting first round probably a lot of people want a wide receiver. I I don't think they're going wide receiver. I think I think they go defensive tackle and um they maybe corner with their first two picks. Uh that that would make sense to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking defense Georgia. early. Y'all probably take one of those Georgia boys. Yeah, I think I think David. Jordan Davis or why is I think they like one of those guys. Um they've had them both in. So we'll see. Now I think if if there's a situation that Sauce or Thibodeau like fall a little bit, I do think they will try to go up and get them because they did have them in for visits. And got the why would you bring both those guys? Huh? The yeah, they you got, got, got the, the capital, capital for it. For sure. Yeah. So, Mark, but I would love, I would love to steal Sauce Gardner from the Giants, man. That Mark, would just, that would break my heart. Freak. What is well, Cap Boy and Company thinking for Dallas in the draft? Oh, well, hey, hey, well, you know, first of all, you got he Jerry Bobby Jones. Wagner, Jerry Jones up there talking. You know, we might just move on up because you know we're all the way out there at twenty four, and you know, get one of them top notch players. Um, the only guy that I would trade up for, if the Cowboys were going to trade up for, it, would be. Mm -hmm. Jordan Davis because that that to me could be that generational type guy. I'm you know again it could be Giovanni and Clowney who you know we looked at and said look at the speed and everything else, but you can't coach size. That guy is literally a mountain. And if the he Eagles drafted, drafted shit, him, dude. man, that that would scare the piss out of me because that guy can clog up the middle. He is like I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and start this now. When you start hearing people calling him the Eclipse. Because that's literally what he is. When you're six foot six, 340 pounds, pushing in the middle, you're blocking out all the sunlight and everything else for the quarterback. That would be my dream. But he is not going to make it to 24. If the Cowboys did trade up, if he somehow starts following, you know, in the, you know, the, the mid teens, then I say go up and grab the guy. Go ahead, do that. I'd be more than happy with that. Um, if not, you know, I, I want to take care of the offensive line because to me, you know, the Cowboys will probably do an Eagle thing and draft a wide receiver because, you know, that sells jerseys. But what, what, what are you what are you rolling your eyes at me for? Son, don't cut your eyes. Uh, Eagles like thing, draft a wide Come on, man. Oh, my God. You know every year you draft a wide receiver. Don't You're going to drop football. the offensive lineman. What are you talking about? No, no offensive offensive line. Line. You're going to draft the receiver. Yeah, you, know you don't what? take a lave, y'all going to take a lave, Philly. <laughs> offensive line, defensive line, I'm okay with either of those because everything starts from there. The biggest bang for the buck. If you get a lights-out generational offensive lineman in there, okay, they're going to open up some holes for Zeke. Zeke's old ass will be able to go through a hole if it's really there. He may not be able to break it all the way, but if he can get four, five, six yards on a carry and we can start running the football, that opens up things for the quarterback. If we can get that defensive lineman like a, a Jordan Davis that can clog up the middle because the Achilles heel for the Dallas Cowboys is stopping the run, and that's the biggest thing I worry about your Eagles because your quarterback can't throw. Y'all are a running team. You were the number one running team, I believe, in the NFL last you, year. You, you, well, we'll see if you talk in the same way about Jordan Davis when we draft him. Uh, <laughs> because I think, I think there's a good what? chance if that may do, happen. If you do, son, I'm going to say, son, that was a smart move. Because I think I think and, and the funny th the funny thing about Mark is he'll say I never wanted Jordan Davis. I no, never I that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I never because, wanted no. Jordan. Davis. Any, anybody who's watched me for any length of time has always heard me say 
I want the defensive line. I wanted Vita Vey. When Calais Campbell was a free agent, I was like, look, this is the guy to sell the farm for to bring in for the Dallas Cowboys because the Cowboys don't believe in interior defensive linemen. What the Cowboys do, which doesn't ever make any sense to me, they draft tackles and make them guards. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. They yeah, we take do that, tackles. We do that shit too. No, but, but it's like, wait a minute. Hold on. Because here's the thing. At, at 24 – you're probably going to have the number one or number two prospect guard, right? Because guards aren't valued as much as tackles, right or wrong. If you're yeah. drafting a tackle <laughs> at 24, you know there's going to be four or five tackles that are already gone. You're talking yeah, about interior the offensive sixth. linemen can go mid to late first. The, right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. which is better to get like the sixth or seventh best prospect of tackle or get the first or second prospect of guard? I'm right. taking the guard because. But theoretically, though, Mark, oh, in college, in college, the tackles are technically better linemen. Yeah. Typically, yeah. But I tell you what. Um, I think okay. you should make a I video mean, tonight okay. thanking Mark, thanking Jerry and his son for making your team relevant again. Oh lordy! But see, here's the thing: if I get Zion, <laughs> if I get Zion. Zion can play any of the places on the field. Zion can play a guard. If I need him to go ahead, we need to rotate and switch around and maybe take um, Connor McGovern and play him at guard because Tyrone Smith is doing what he usually do, which is being injured. He can slip out there. So for me, that versatility in the offensive line is key for the Cowboys. If we don't get anything on defense, the defense is better than they were in the past. They're going to be better suited because we do have some of the same guys that are young. Guys like O.C., who as a rookie played actually pretty good. He's yeah, Mark, got great gonna, hands. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna He's let, got let great hands. Mark, I'm going to let you finish. Let me let me get at these Supers real quick. Duncan, okay, he's, a, he's a Philly fan, said, truthfully, I can't wait to see Wentz blast through the Cowboys and Giants secondary. Appreciate that. And Asia, my moderator for the chat with the $100. Whoa. Super, my first ever $100 Super. Damn, Asia. Asia. Holding it down in the chat. She was one of Mark's people. She said, hey, Rio, Mark, Philly, and Cop. Please keep me in your what, prayers. Hold on. What does not matter? What does not I don't understand. It's Let them read Giants. She's a Giants fan. I know. Asian's great, it's though. All love, man. She said she had a tough week. She lost her cousin who she hasn't seen since she was a little kid to gun violence. Jesus oh, Christ. Man. And I spent the majority of work crying in the bathroom. Everybody in the chat send prayers to Asia Robertson. That's because Sorry to hear that, Asia. Absolutely tragic. I appreciate your generosity, especially during such dark times. And I hate that stuff like this takes place, especially to good yep. people. I'm sorry yep. to hear that happen for you, Asia. Everybody's yep, prayers. Asia prayers. Amen. And I appreciate you for everything you do for the channel and for being a mod on the channel and for always showing your support. I hope you and your family. I, I wish I wish the best for you guys because that 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 is a, that's some tough shit to be dealing with. Yeah, Mark, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and finish your draft eval now before I take. Oh, no, I mean, like I said, I, I, me, I want the line. Okay, the Cowboys will probably go more sizzle than substance, and they'll look at that wide receiver. And in the same way, I said to years ago when. Um, the Giants signed Brandon Marshall. And everybody's like, oh, my God, they got Brandon Marshall. They got Odell. They got Sterling Shepard. How are you going to stop them? I said, because they don't have an offensive line to protect, uh, you know. Well, Eli, the and they still don't have one today. They I mean, still it, don't have an offensive line. It all comes from the line, and the Cowboys just don't believe in it. They don't draft into your defensive lineman. So we'll see what happens. Yep, man. For me, I just like, like Washington – I want weapons for Wentz. Everybody's, oh, we got to take a corner. Like if Stingley or Kyle Hamilton fall there, we got to take one of them. We've spent a defensive first round pick for five years in a row. I want some fucking weapons on the offense, man. Terry, lonely as shit in that receiving core. Curtis Samuel, we have to see him play before I can count on him. And De'Ami Brown showed me nothing as a rookie. I want one of the Ohio State Buckeyes or Drake London in the first round, but we could easily get Stingley. I think Stingley's better than Sauce Gardner, cop. I think Stingley, he hasn't been as available as him. He's missed a bunch of times. Go ahead and say that stupid ass shit about how he's played better competition. No, no, no. no it's not even just that. I like the way he moves better. Pause. You know, he, he he's more fluid in his movement. Sauce is a little stiff to me. Sauce moves like 
Quentin Dunbar, and that gives me nightmare, even though I liked Quentin Dunbar. He, he, he moves weird, but I think he's a good cornerback. But I don't want no defense. Let me ask you something. Rio, yeah. let me ask you. Don't you think you guys need to beef up that offensive line and make sure you keep Carson Wentz healthy? Yep. I, think, I mean, we lost share of flowers, but we got Norwell and Wes Schweitzer gave us just as good as production as Sheriff when he was on the field. I think the line's fine. Our tackle Carson has- holds on to that ball, boy. Let me tell you, I know that he likes hey, to hold Carson on to that ball. Word. Hell, Carson has, oh, to, learn he has to, to let learn. a play die because he will fucking risk his life for a first down. He has to just throw it away down. or take a sack sometime, bro. He did. He did that for the Eagles, and look what he look what I got him. Yeah, yeah, man, but I, yeah. I think offensive line, we're Talking fine Eagles. because we have two good tackles, we have a good center, and our guards are okay. But I need weapons for him, man. Terry is the only thing we've had here. Curtis Samuel, I would love to see it when he actually gets on the field, but I need something opposite Terry that opposes a threat. I want one of his Ohio State Buckeyes teammate, Garrett Wilson or Olave, whatever one's available there. Give it to me. Shit, I'll take Drake London too. Even like he's a big receiver. People say, oh, come, Wentz likes to throw the big receiver. Wentz throws to whoever the fuck the best receiver on the roster is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I wouldn't pigeon. I love how players. Washington loves Wentz now. I mean, I, I I I'm serious. Now, I'm when, you, when you've had nothing but shit here for two decades, Wince looks like Wince looks like the baddest female that walked into the school dance right now because Taylor Heineke Rio. started 16 games for us last year, man. I appreciate when Rio. I already Rio. ordered a shirt. Rio. Rio. It doesn't matter who you bring in. <laughs> Donovan McNabb was a decent quarterback. Donovan McNabb was washed, and he was 33, and his cardiovascular endurance was bad. That's why he got benched for it. <laughs> Alex I've Smith. never heard a coach say that in, in a presser ever. I benched him because of his cardiovascular endurance. I'm just that saying, was always a it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wins by the win is the vision. But let's let's close it on that. Keep hope alive, man. Keep hope I, I, alive. I told Cop we wasn't gonna go too crazy long tonight. I said we're gonna probably close it around nine o'clock. Who's winning this damn division? It's way too early to decide who's winning the division. Let's too let's early. do some record prediction. It's too early. Too like, early. I don't care. We're still doing it. We're Listen, still doing the it. Cow- the Cowboys are still in the starting blocks. They don't do anything in free agency. That's cool. What's your what's your record gonna be in 2022, Mark? Eight and eight. Eight and nine. Uh, hey, hey, come on. Don't, okay, okay, Jason Garrett. Now, you can't be eight, 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 eight nine. Eight, nine. That's about where you're going to be. Uh, um, I'm going to say 11 to six. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Because we got to play y'all right there. That's at least five wins right there, dog. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> at least giving you one. I'm new, sorry. It. Dak Prescott has owned y'all motherfuckers. Sorry. Yeah, he's not in one versus us. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware. <laughs> owned y'all. Hell yeah. My boy said there's a crazy misconception about Washington's O-line. COVID and Heineke's arena league arm got folks thinking that the line is poor. Yeah, I know. It, was, it wasn't the line at all. Like, there was so much opportunity to put stuff on the field, and we didn't have the quarterback that can do it. We actually have a quarterback that can hit someone in stride and throw outside the boundary now. I'm calling it 10-7, and 7, and I think that's going to have a shot to win a division this year. Philly and Cop, what y'all thinking? Ah. Uh. If I had to guess the Eagles right now, I'll say uh, eight wins, too. I think they're about eight wins. Eight wins? R- Philly? Yeah. You're always Mr. 13 win guy. Home. That's very No, I'm not. I, I, I was seven and nine wins last year. I'm about about that right now. I think, I think it's about the same right now. I don't think the Eagles have done enough, especially offensively, this offseason. Now, we still got the draft and a long way to go. But right now, I still think they're probably eight win between seven and nine wins. Probably, I think that's where they're at. Wow, I respect it. I respect cop. Yeah. While we're while we're talking numbers, I want to make sure I, I want to make sure this gets out. Shout out to Asia. You said that this was your first hundred dollar super chat. Well, <laughs> this is the first time I'm on the show, Rio. No oh, fucking God. surprise there. I mean, no. I, as I said. <laughs> the realest of the real so i mean when you when, when pizzle shows up it just it is what it is so uh as far as records go i'm optimistic about what the giants can do if the draft goes the way i hope it goes i think we're going to be teetering around where philly 500 just mentioned with the eagles eight to nine wins 
I, I, if we can play right at around 500 ball or just above it, then I, I would be all aboard that train. I would 100, I, nine and eight to me, I would sign that up for the Giants 100%. That'd be a good year for y'all. That would be, I mean, I would be, I would be happy with that if we could make some progress. What kind of production does Daniel Jones have to put up to solidify the job going forward? But I hate that question. <laughs> I've heard, I mean, I've heard that. It's like to me, to me, I don't I, I don't get caught up into the fantasy numbers. If you just give me a winning season, you give me a nine and nine, nine and eight, you give me competitive football. I can I can live with that. Like I just don't have to have Aaron Rodgers on my squad. Like I just don't need that. I, I, I you know, I could live with Jimmy G. You know, and I know I know a lot of 49er fans don't like Jimmy G, but I could live with Jimmy G. I can live with somebody who can just go out there and just you know play. I don't I want all my all my teammates around me to be stars. You know, I don't need the quarterback to be a star. I just don't have to have that. I mean, it, it definitely helps to have one. Uh, any 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 words you'd like to say about Derek Barnett before we go, Philly? Oh <laughs> no, I, I don't. I I can't stand Derek Barnett, but I'm gonna tell you what pisses me off right now. There's a report coming out that the Eagles are moving JJ Ortega Whiteside to tight end. This guy is trash. <laughs> he is absolute trash. <laughs> now you want to move him to tight end? I I can't stand that they cannot just admit when they make a mistake. They're going to move this guy tight. He's not big enough to play tight end. I I hate it. And he's not. I, sometimes he just. That's a it, terrible move. I, I, <laughs> let me let me let me say if you if you had picked DJ Metcalf instead of him, don't start with me. <laughs> don't do it. Or, I, I don't want to hear it. Instead of Rhaegar, you picked. I have post traumatic stress from DK. You you literally had two of the best <laughs> wide receivers drafted in the past. To ask was the very next pick. Ortega Whiteside, man. Ortega oh, DK Metcalf. Are any of you three interested in Debo? Because I heard Debo might be interested in yes, of of you guys. I don't think Oops. it's possible. That, that's too much, too much compensation for us. Yes, I'm I'm definitely well, I, I don't care. Pay what it takes to get them. We need some help, but they're not gonna do it. <laughs> But they're not going to do it. Well, uh, I mean, you, I, guys yeah, have, of you guys have, have some draft capital to work with. I mean, I could see. Yeah, but they're not going to do it, though. They, they, look, the Eagles have already made their decision on Jalen Hurts. This is what the thing is. They say one thing, but they do another. They yeah. are not going to invest capital until they know who their quarterback is. They're, that, that's what the game they're playing. So they come out and they say, oh, we believe in Jalen Hurts. But that's not what the truth is. The truth is, is they don't. Otherwise, they would have helped them. Rio, if justice and if the word justice ever mattered. Carson Wentz smashing the Eagles twice a year, wearing commander jersey, <laughs> commander jersey, would be true justice. Oh, I mean that man. that that would be absolute, true, authentic oh, justice, and it deser- and he deserves it. They Honestly, burn down, they they burn down, down the link if that happened. Music, music to my ears. Oh, my I will be rooting for Carson Wentz to smash. The Philadelphia oh, Eagles. We're going to come down there in our all blacks in Philly, war ready, and Carson's going to put up 350 and no, no, four no, no, studies no. on them. And they, you, you guys need to show up in fatigues in that one. Y'all need to go <laughs> old school on that one. And that better be in prime time. I think we're going to play Philly week one because they have to. Oh, like they, they have to put wins. Look, look, Philly's not saying anything. Look at that. <laughs> I've, seen this, I've seen this script play out before. With, oh, with, with e- former Eagle players. I, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I'm still pissed off about this J.J. Ortega Whiteside thing. If, <laughs> if that were to happen, that would be Meltdown TV. I mean, that would be – I, I could see you now. Motherfucking Carson Wentz got through it. I what happened. I know. <laughs> Yeah, we need to. Yeah. We, need to all, we need to all get in the homes backyard together and do it, a it'll make panel. it'll make what you have with Derek Barnett a love fest. Okay, we, oh, we need to get back there. We need to get back there and have a full panel oh, in the Dover residence. Yeah, that would and, be crazy. I would one hundred. I would one hundred percent show up to the Mark Holmes residence. Well, you, you, hey, you got. I would one hundred percent. I would one hundred percent. Okay. Not a problem. Because I honestly, the main thing I want to do is arm wrestle Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness? <laughs> <laughs> I want to find out how strong that guy is. Hey, man. Okay. He likes, they, they like, they like Most people come and say we want some Joe Boo wings and some pulled yeah, pork. Like I, don't think I don't think your wings are that good, Mark. 
Not that good. Not nah, they're fucking great. I, I just, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Hey, watch the screen when I'm there. No, honestly, the I know Mark. I know Mark is a serious <laughs> grill man, a grill master, uh -huh. and that's a low blow to say a man's wings aren't any good. Who's a grill master? Hell yeah. Hey, Mark. So Mark I took please. a shot. I took a low blow shot, and Mark. It's all good because. Believe me, I ain't never had no complaints about chicken wings. Okay. I love my wife. Other, other than Philly 500 being mad that we're sacrificing wings. <laughs> yeah, some satanic shit. <laughs> I love my Washington fans, but Mark came in and had the best tailgate I've seen in the red zone lot at FedExville all last year. The food was immaculate. but it was, um, Of course, Washington fans ate first because that's what we do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We hopped straight yeah, to the line. Y'all didn't show up after the game. <laughs> I was like, we're going to do a post game. Yeah, we're going to do a post game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, where's Rio? Yeah, I'm like, you. Rio, where are you? I'm gone, man. I'm like, I'm like, damn, ain't that some shit? Eat and run. I got the fuck out of there. But yeah, man, we went for about two hours, man. Well, an hour and a half. I appreciate you guys coming on. Uh, I'll start with Cop. Thank you for bringing the energy, man. I knew you were going to come with it. My God, tell people where they can find you, and we're going to definitely link up again. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me most notably here on YouTube. Over 15 years producing quality. Listen to that word, quality. New York Giants football content, a place where you can come and bring a, bring your family and learn about life and learn about New York Giants football and most notably learn how to be a man, right? As the three of you know, well, I don't know, man. I, don't know if, I don't know if Mark knows, but there's a lot of soy boys walking around God's green earth right now, and they could use a leader like Cop Pizzle to teach them how to be a man, a most notably a 60-minute man. So if you want some great content, head on over to Cop Pizzle, C-O-P-I-Z-Z-L-E, and come see what all the fuss is about, okay? Come find out. Mark, you suck. You absolutely <laughs> suck. Yeah, don't watch Mark say, Holmes. Just look you under a rock and you'll find it. Don't Pizzle. watch Mark Holmes. Don't do it. And, yeah, come see my little girl, little baby doll. She blows a phenomenal whistle. I mean, this girl is unbelievable when she blows a whistle. Absolutely. And I'm introducing my my son to the channel this year. So Dude. it's gonna be there's gonna be three of us, and you're just you're just doomed, Mark. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You're just done so. Okay. So I want to thank Rio for having me. My brother, I appreciate you. You could have went many different directions. Yes, sir. But you found Pizzle. And that's what that that's all you need. That's all you fucking need. So deliver. thank you, Rio. I absolutely. Deliver. I'm like the mailman. I always deliver, Mark. 60 fucking minutes. <laughs> Philly. You can find me, uh, Philly 500, or on Mark Holmes' channel because he's always <laughs> playing video clips of me. So I'm always there. Or you can go to my channel, Philly 500. Um, I appreciate you having me on. It's always fun to, to get together with these guys. So I totally enjoyed this, man. And I'm just ready. I'm ready for this draft to take place, man. It's got to be. I'm ready. I'm ready for it, too. Joe Boo. Um, Joe Boo Sports Report. We're everywhere. That's all you got to do is look for Joe Boo Sports Report or Mark Holmes. And, uh, you know, you, you can't help but trip over a video because the Cowboys, well. Because he's got. We always got. Yeah, we, Mark we, holds we, 17 we, videos a day. <laughs> Content is king. Yeah. Come on, man. It's only 16. Amari Cooper still like, running. I can't they're help they're it if the Cowboys get rid of Amari Cooper or mess up with, you know, uh, with Randy Gregory or Jerry Jones has got an illegitimate child. And, you know, <laughs> I, I can't help it, man. Look, the Cowboy fans want the news. Just because nobody cares about y'all sorry-ass team, don't <laughs> play hate on me. I mean, shit, I mean uh, What's on the itinerary for the rest of the night, Holmes? The rest of the itinerary? Um, what's, what's the rest I, of the night involved with Probably, you? well, probably passing the F out because okay. I'm tired. I've been working my ass off today. Um, working, but man. Probably recapping this and then going through because Jerry Jones's lawsuit has been dropped against him from his daughter. She's going in a different route. She's going to actually try and get it. And you're probably with her, aren't you? to pass some of that goodwill. Well, see, unlike Jerry Jones, I claim my children. See, okay? Oh, see, okay. This is what Jerry Jones is missing out on, spending oh, time man. with his family. Mm. 
I love to hear it. I love to hear it. We might have to get back together after the draft to see how we feel about our predictions and going into the season. But I appreciate my panel I had tonight. We're going to do this a lot more. NFC East has the most passionate group of fans in the league. Like Philly fans eat shit. Um, Cowboy fans call the Super Bowl every year. Our fans are a fucking riot as well. Your and fans will be back in the closet after week two. What are you <laughs> talking about? Hell yeah, but it's always real. Thank you guys for having me. If you're leaving here, Louis T. Law Nation, Lord Brunson, and Bad Dog will be doing the same thing in about one minute. And shout out to Washington Nation. Take command. And this logo right here will be your division champion in 2022. Y'all have a great night. Peace, blessings to all, and prayers to Asia Robertson and her family. Deuces. Good shit.